Hello friends, welcome to my channel. In this session, I show you how you can debug Laravel code using Xdebug. Why need to debug the code? Sometime we get some error and need to find that error's root cause. And that's why we should use debug. So you can easily find root cause of the error and you can fix that error easily. So first of all, I show you how you can set up xdebug with your web server and then next step how you can debug the laravel code step by step. So first you need to start your web server and then open localhost and Let's see, you can find php info here, see, and just open this php info, control all and just copy that whole configuration file and then just type x debug into the google and you can see this x debug wizard you need to open this installation wizard and then just put it here. So this wizard analyze your configuration and based on the, your configuration it's give proper version. So your web server support this and it's work fine. So you can see introduction here and here is summary of the debug and where we need to put and how you can set everything given here. So first of all we need to download this dll file and need to put into the this extension directory so let me copy windows r so windows r open this run prompt you just put it here and enter so you open this path now let's download this and just put that part and download here means save that extensions dll into the this extension directory then we need to configure php.ini which is located into the apache so next is we need to open this php.ini this is the path of my php.ini so let's copy this again open this run and let's go directly into the this directory and then let's open this php dot ini file with the any editor i going to open that file so open this php dot ini from the apache and then scroll down at bottom and you can see x debug if this x debug with comment means like that you need to uncomment this part whole part if it's commented in your ini then we need to change this path so let's remove this dll path and let me remove this comment because not need this then let's see we need to set this path into the inf file so let's put and then we need to specify this dll name so let's copy this and just put 
this DLN name. So, this path is full specified. Then X debug mode is debug because we are going to debug step by step 1. So, you need to specify X debug mode equal to debug and next thing is you need to specify x debug dot start underscore with underscore request equal to yes then debug is working and let me show you how you can on debug in your PHP Storm editor. You can see here one icon. See here where I hovering. You need to click this and then you can put breakpoints anywhere. Uh, for example, for example, I put like this and one more thing after update this file you need to restart your web server so i going to restart my web server first so let's wait yeah my web server is restarting Yeah, when server is ready for use. Now let's go here and just refresh. And now you can see it's a loading, not request done fast because debugging started and then you get this kind of a prompt first time in per project. So, you need to accept it and then you can see. Now, let me show you how you can debug your Laravel code. This is Laravel application and it's uh, open index.php and it's break and stop in the first line because in run this break at first line in PHP script is checked. You you can uncheck and second time it's not come here. It's directly come where you put this debug. So let's refresh again and now you can see it's directly come into this return statement. Now you can debug with three way. You can jump or line by line you can go deep and deep means if you want to debug what this view method doing you can do it and third you can jump by debug point to debug point for example you can see this red point here so you can directly jump into the point by point so let me stop this and uh, let's open this home controller. I put some code here so you can easily know. Right now I put this for breakpoint and now I going to open home page. And you can see it's come here. Now I going to press F8. So F8 run one means jump line by line. You can see and now you can debug this variable. You can see all the information stored inside this variable easily. So you can see what's going in this variable, what's happening when you check auth user for example if you want to see the data you can see this 
id name email and everything of the authenticated user and you can see original data in this key so everything is there in this variable you can see it easily using this x debug in your php strong editor you just need to enable here you just need to put this breakpoint after setup x debug now let me click f8 and it's some here but let me stop and show you f8 how it works because right now every place i put breakpoint but you can see when i click f8 it's go into the line number 30 see now i going to show you use of f7 if you want to go each and every line into the deep as well that time you can use f7 so let me stop and again refresh and now i going to press f7 now you can see it's all facade.php and uh, it's come here so you can deeply debug through this f7 key you can see so you can use f8 for line by line debugging you can use f7 for deep debug now third way you can jump directly onto the breakpoint you just need to use f9 so let's refresh this page again and now i going to press f9 so it should skip this line this code line because i don't want to debug this line so it's directly jump on line number 28 to line number 32 see it's directly jump but still you can see detail of users variable from here so you can see value in this variable if even you skip this line so you can easily debug your php code in your laravel application using the php storm editor and web server so enjoy this debug thank you for watching video please do not forget to subscribe my channel thank you